Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. The b-roll you just saw was of me editing my last video which came out last week. It was about tips for filming in nightclubs and making nightclub after movies and videos. But anyway, that's not today's topic. Today we are talking about the editing software I was editing in. You might have noticed that it didn't look like Premiere Pro, which you might be used to seeing in some tutorials or something like that, or seeing most filmmakers use. Uh, that was actually Shotcut, the video editing app I've been editing since well, forever, well actually for two years, but I only make videos since two years, so for me it's pretty much forever. And today I'm going to review that app and answer the question for you if Shotcut is any good or not, and if it is a capable free video editing software that you might want to download. So first of all, what is Shotcut? Shotcut is a free video editing software you can download from the internet from their website. I believe it was shotcut.com. Just Google Shotcut download and you'll find it very easily. And Shotcut is a very basic and simple video editing software ideal for only a certain part of people, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Because, yeah, I've been using it since two years and I'm now switching because it's just too simple for me. The video editing app consists of a bin with all the footage and images and soundtracks or whatever you were going to put in there. And on the right hand side you have your screen to view the clips that you want to put in your edit or the clips you are editing actively. And at the bottom you have your timeline like in pretty much any video editing software. And yeah, in the timeline that consists of a audio layer and a visual or video layer where you can just edit your clips and then put them all together and create videos like these. It's very, very simple and easy. But that's at the same time my problem with the app. So concerning the question if Shotcut is any good, well it depends on who you are and what exactly you're trying to do. Because as I said, I'm switching. Because I've just kind of grown out of this very simple video stuff, I actually want to get a little more advanced, especially the color grading on Shotcut is quite difficult actually. You have the possibility to put on a lot, but you can't really control the intensity of that LUT, not like you can do in Premiere Pro, which is a huge factor for me. I love to put on LUTs on my video, but if I can't control how intense they are, or you might have noticed that some of my footage just sometimes really looks overgraded, but that's because it still looks better than the RAW, but I can't really decrease the intensity. And apart from that, you can just do the basic stuff like saturation and the brightness, and you even have color wheels, which I personally think are not really good, but still, they're color wheels and they're there. But all in all, I don't even have a tone curve, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of missing that as well. So for extensive color grading, I would not recommend Shotcut. Also, I wouldn't recommend Shotcut for anything more advanced, such as masking and tracking and things like that. You basically only have a few effects. Just for your info, in case you are using Shotcut and you're looking for the effects, it's basically called filters in Shotcut. It's the same thing, it's just called filters. It's not actual filters like Instagram filters, it's filters for all sorts of stuff like sizing, cropping, and all of that. It's all in the filters thing, it's all the same for Shotcut. But anyway, those were the few factors that actually already made me want to switch because it's just gotten a little too simple for me. But of course, this app is very capable of what it's doing. It can edit videos totally fine, as you can see in all of my videos on this channel. Actually, actually one video on my channel is edited on Premiere Pro, but all of the others were edited on Shotcut, so you can check those out. And if you are planning to make anything like that, Shotcut is actually perfect for you, because Shotcut is actually only good for a certain category of people, or like actually any app, when I now think about it. But anyway, Shotcut is perfect for anybody who is looking for a free video editing app who doesn't want to invest money into their video editing, and they are looking for an app which doesn't have, I don't know, watermark, it's strange things like that. It's, it's, got, it's like a totally normal video editing app with no hooks attached to anything, and it's all for free, but you are kind of restricted to some simplicity because you can't go very far with your color grading, you don't have that many visual effects you can actually apply to your footage, such as a warp stabilizer and things like that. That's basically the reason why I am switching to Premiere Pro, because it's just got a way wider variety of effects, but also the usability is a bit easier in my opinion. But if you're actually only starting out with Video Shotcut, it's great because it's so simple and you can understand it, or well, more or less anybody I think would be able to understand Shotcut because it is really easy. Because it could be quite overwhelming if you get into Premiere Pro for the first time and you just see all these different things, you get completely confused. So in conclusion, I can recommend Shotcut for anybody who is looking for a free, very simple video editing app. Just wanted to get rid of that before, as I said, I'm finally going to switch to Premiere Pro because, yeah, I'm kind of getting fed up with Shotcut. Because, to be honest, it does have some bugs, but only some. It's not that terrible. 
yeah, for free, it's super good. <sighs> I wonder what else I have to say about this app because I think this video is kind of short. Or I'm just completely underestimating how long I'm talking. Let's just end this with some b-roll, I suppose. So if you found any valuable information in this video, then don't forget to leave a like. And also, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again next week, is what I wanted to say. Goodbye.